if you're hungry. So why don't you have an idea? What? Gosh. Catch. And you're such a naughty dried up whore. You're such a naughty dried up whore. That's what you want. Tell me not that was too harsh. Absolutely unnecessary. That would spoil your public image. What do you do for a living? I work in a bank. A bank? Yeah. So because you knot ties every day and inhale the smell of other people's money, you think it's enough reason for you to interrupt my meeting? Serena! Stay out of this. This is how you treat stinking dirty brat. Beg your pardon, woman. Oh, oh. Serena, will you marry me? If I can trust you, I will. simple in life. You need to respect people. You don't other people around and expect them to respect you in return. Enough! Vera, there's something you're missing here. For diamond communications to hit it big time, we need Caesar. It is the same Caesar who is going to be my husband. Combine the wealth of the Adams family with that of the enormous and intimidating empire of the Moors. You will realize that I don't give a hoot about those cocky mice out there. You may have fired me, Serena, but I can't watch you fall into a trap without telling you. Trap. Yes, trap. Caesar is a dupe. What is she talking about? Just make some investigation. He's a common housekeeper, if you don't know. <laughs> oh my god, I can't now. You know what the Bible says about Satan is true? That he comes in different shapes and with different styles? Candy, you are satanic. So you're framing all this up so that you can take over Caesar? How ridiculous! That was out of jealousy, Serena. As I'm talking to you right now, I'm sure of what I'm saying. You mean you and Caesar sleep on the same bed? Even I'm carrying picking himself for my benefit. <laughs> should be helping your mother and prepare for work. Auntie has been in her room for three days and she refused to eat anything. She chased all of us away and she switched her phone off. So what about her father? 
But guy is very angry. Ever since that corn man duped Auntie. so mad that she can't kill me. Did I really do my job as a father? Yes, I did. What is wrong if I insisted that my daughter gets married to a well-to-do young man. Well, if she makes a mistake by picking an imposter housekeeper, it is not my fault. I must speak sense to her. NGO sponsors, the press, all ready to tear me to shreds. They're allowed to help you now. Serena, Serena, please open the door. It's me, Vera. Serena, I'm here for you. You have me. Serena, Serena, open the door. It's me, Vera. Please open the door. Serena, don't do anything stupid, okay? Open the door. It's Vera. Serena, Serena, please open the door. It's me, Vera. Serena? Serena, stop what you do. What has come over you? Are you crazy or something? Are you losing it? Serena, you should be ashamed of yourself. What is wrong with you? You want to take your own life because of a simple mistake? If every other person should go wild on his or her pride in this life, then I believe our mortuaries will be filled with corpses of victims like jilted lovers, divorced people, defrauded people, girls with illegitimate pregnancies, and so on. You're such a simple fraud. And whatsoever, the criminals involved are in jail. The substantial amount of the money has been recovered. What else more do you want in life? Aren't you satisfied? Aren't you ashamed of yourself? Don't. 
right into the bathroom. Take a very good shot. You can walk out public diligently without any regrets. Don't deserve your tears. Show them how strong a woman you are. I know you can do it. Yes. I have no doubts about you. I have so much faith in you. And I know you can do it. So do it. Okay? Good. It's okay. I'm here for you. I'll always be here for you. I wish I could find someone that could love me the way I should be loved. I wish I could see someone who could give me the love I deserve. And when I find such a word, I will let go, I will cherish and love her back. But that is all I need to keep me going and moving on. I've given so much love and I want love in return. When I see such a love, I wouldn't let her go. I need the love, love. I need the love, love. When I find such a love, I will keep it, cherish it. Candy. Candy. I'm sorry for what you've been going through. I deserve it, Candy. You warned me. And I didn't listen. Can you find it in your heart to forgive me? Oh, God. Okay. <laughs> I need to be going now. Serena, oh, I'm so happy. Um, have you signed the document I left on your table two hours ago? Oh gosh, I think you are tired. You need to have a break. I guess you're right. Oh God, I I promised myself I was going to show you something, but um, let's see if I can find it here. I don't know why. You're going to play for a long time to get attached. Don't need those condoms, baby. Leave me alone! You can cut a long journey short. I'm so single, baby. Leave me alone!
Regret what? Regret that a rude, proud girl ended up in the hands of a common housekeeper. I regret that she's not even worth the poor guy who duped and dumped her. I don't know you harbor some tears in those cold eyes of yours. I never knew the fire of a houseboy's laugh would burn the same hand that splashed a cup of ice cream on my face. Contact me when you're tired. Be fast. I don't accept expired women. Dirty ass as well. She's not worth it. Hey, take my advice. Get off her before a nasty conduct rubs off on you. You know what? You are nothing but a stupid asshole. Serena, you are better off than this. Lioness, so you can run. Stand there and fight as usual. You will learn to be humble from now on. Is it true that your fiancé dumped you? Don't you think you have been hung on? Is it true the said fiancé said you precisely a house boy? Mr. Rina, say something. Listen, you know what? Listen, 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 it's okay, it's okay, okay. We'll get back to you tomorrow, okay, okay? Okay, fine. Have a nice day. Have a good day. Okay, bye. Okay, okay. Let's go. Oh my God, there's too much. I can't even handle this anymore. What is happening? Hi! Gosh! You caused everything. I caused nothing. Mind how you talk to me. Don't you dare try and force it down my throat because I will not swallow it. It's your entire fault and you know it. You think the police didn't have a point there? Since you gave birth to me, what have you taught me? Nothing. Only how to make money, use money, and create stupid class distinction. You didn't teach me common morals, simple respect, and humility. You turned me into this high class mona. Yes, Dad. If you had taught me how to mingle with people, I wouldn't have been tricked by that stupid housekeeper. There's a vacuum in my life that needs to be filled. I respect you, Serena. Don't blame me for what happened. Don't blame me. I will, Father. I will. You'll be forced to when you lose me. For now, life means nothing to me. All thanks to you. I trained you to be a lion. You need a lion's heart to run wind oil. And as far as I'm concerned, you're not doing badly at all. Don't patronize me, Father. I'm not going to be your stooge. I'm not going to be the robot to satisfy your ego. I want to be my own man. A man who will be able to control his own destiny just like you did. Now look into my eyes and tell me you don't see how bad I feel. Would you like to die to leave an unhappy family or a family that crumbles as soon as you're gone? Now that's exactly what's going to happen if you don't change. If I die, God knows I'll never be happy with the father who never taught me to be a real man. I will never forgive you for my wasted youth. So do you want these scenarios or you want to address the issues at hand? I saw Grandpa, this is just a forgotten issue. Ah! 
Don't you ever talk to me like that. Anna! Are you crazy? You should know she's just a woman and your wife for that matter. She's not my wife. She's your wife for me. I'm going to get my own wife and for myself only. Anna, where are your manners? You people should have thought about my manners before you forced this, this serpent upon me. <laughs> How dare you talk to me like that? Aren't you ashamed of yourself? And why are you going? Hey, Anna! No matter how black you paint this union, there shall be no replacement for Gabriela. And you get that into your rumbling brain. What the fuck? Why, why are you guys breaking into my privacy? You're not even ashamed of yourself. Why should I? A man too weak to perform his marital duty should be the one ashamed of himself. I don't regret this, Anwar. Tell me, how many times have you slept with me since we became husband and wife? You know what? I've been looking for a reason to kick you out of my life. But you got it. Um, Gabriela, I'm afraid you must be. Whatever the crime Arnold committed against you, you took the wrong course. The Williams cannot swallow that kind of insult. I'm sorry. I just called your father and informed him that you're coming. Find someone that could love me the way I should be loved. I wish I could see someone who could give me the love I deserve. And when I find such a word, I will let go, I will cherish and love her back. But that is all I need to keep me going and moving on. I've given so much love and I want love in return. And when I see such a love, I wouldn't let it go. I need the love. 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 I need the love. love. When I find such a love, I will keep it, cherish it, I will let it go. I will let it go. I need the love. love. Genuine love. love. When I find such a love, I will keep it, cherish it, I will let it go. I will let it go. All I ever want is love. All I ever need is love. All I really want is So you mean you didn't notice me, and I'm sorry, Father. I, my heart is heavy. Um, probably because of Gabriela. I can hardly concentrate. Um, I understand, but you don't worry. Uh, you'll soon get over it. Dad, I, I need a break. I need about a one week break. Please. One week break. Okay, one week then. But no more. Whatever it is, you pull yourself together, huh? Come on, you've got young blood in here.
Yes. I ran away from home. Oh gosh. Why should you do that? Anytime I see my father, he reminds me of a man, a father who failed in bringing up his child in the right way. Serena, it is true your crush that fair affected everyone. I'm sure he must have learned his lessons. I want to be away from home while I recover from the shock. You should have talked to him. I'm sure he would have understood. I don't want him to know where I am. I need to be alone. Don't forget he's soon talking to the police. I left him a note. Vera, my father's gonna come to you. Please do not blow my cover. Please. Gosh, Serena. Okay, um, I'll try. Yeah, I'll try. You know what, um, I'm already late to court, so there's food in the fridge, there's drinks stuffed in the bar. Get something to eat and get something to drink, okay? Feel like someone make yourself comfortable. Hey, be good. Okay, you'll be fine, okay? Hey, listen, there's nothing going to happen to you, okay? I promise to call you and check on you. Mm? Take care, be good. Listen, I'm going to be off for a week, all right? And you know what that means, automatically everything lies on you. Is Chief aware? Well, he was in my office this afternoon. And he approved? Sure. I'm beginning to think you're finding a replacement for Gabriella. Well, I'm a bit worried about it. What's the big deal here? I want true love. Consummated on the basis of who I am and know what I am. 95%, if not 100% of girls just want me because of my money. Now, how am I going to find the one who would actually love Arnold and Arnold alone? You know, you're making me think that being rich has its disadvantages. Well, anyway, I'll see you, eh? I'll give you a call, all right? Bye. All right, bye. She threatened firing us. Shut up over there. Jack, you are being a big disappointment. I have paid you to take off my daughter. Here you are staring at me without an inkling of where she could be found. She sent me to get something for her. Never knew it was a plot from her to escape. I'm sorry, sir. This is rubbish. This is brandish. Listen to me. You have to find my daughter by desk. Otherwise, you will be chatting with the police. Consider it done, sir. Sir, I found this on her reading table.
Sir, there is only one place that can help you find her, sir. All of you get lost. Get lost! Get lost! Where is she? Sir. Um... Woman, where is Serena? I don't know. Don't lie to me! You know the consequences of you lying to me, Vera? I am a very patient man, but I can be very nasty when it comes to the safety of my only daughter. For the last time, where is she? She's with me. Oh, so the two of you planned it? No, 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 sir, no, sir. Sir, you know I can't do that. She actually came to my house this morning and I rebuked her for not telling you. Vera, take me to your house now. Please let me talk to her. Vera. Hey, I will not repeat myself. Take me to your house now. Okay, sir. Um, It's not so nice yet, it tastes so awful. better now. I've been able to cook my own food, clean the house. Money has really sparked me, Serena. What 
you think you're doing? A princess with so many servants at home? We had no choice. What is the meaning of this? Meaning of what, father? Many of you running away from your promised home and coming to stay in this God-forsaken home, sweeping, washing clothes. <sighs> well, I am grateful to Caesar. Yes. If a common servant like Caesar wasn't able to pull you and I, I mean very rich people like that, into the mud with his little trick, I wouldn't be able to clean the house and cook my own food today. I am going home with you now. Well, you would have to kill me first, father. I miss living like this my whole life, dad. I am okay realizing that I can do things myself without being bothered about class and wealth. Maybe the happiness we really need is living a simple life. <clears throat> Please, sir. I promise to bring her back personally after two weeks. She needs the response for the good of all parties. You are coming home in two weeks. Three weeks. Three weeks you have it. But listen to me, I think you need this. Take this money, go to some good restaurants, eat some good food, and stop eating this junk in this house. Well, thank you, Father. But you can have your money back because this almost ruined my life. Here, I want to know what life is all about without money in my life. Okay? Honestly, I haven't felt this responsible in my entire life. And money didn't contribute to it. I want to learn more, okay? I promise. I'll be back in three weeks as I agreed. This is disgusting! It's disgusting! You betrayed me! You threatened me! Threat you said? I wish you saw his face when he confronted me in the office. Gosh, I was so scared. I thought he was going to kill me. What am I supposed to do? <sighs> Vera, Serena. Well, I need an honest male relationship built on true love. Can you get that for me? You can't find that inside here. You need to go out. I fear the press. Mm. Serena, just a simple makeup and a simple costume will do. No one is going to recognize you. This place looks very good. I didn't know you could mop. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'd have given you some of my water soup, but I don't want you to run. It's a new Let me try something. Why inform and why dress so peevishly? That's my idea of remaining undetected and free. You know the press can be stupid. So why are we here? Tell me to meet you here. Well, um, don't worry. Everything is under control. That's my idea of classical beauty. That could be an aunt, you know. Do you like Pringles? Mm -hmm. Let me see. What about butter or jam? Both. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I thought people like you had special foods. Excuse me, Vera. You make it look like I'm some kind of creature. You know what? I just like the transformation happening in your life. Thank you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> Hello. I'm Gerald. Hi. Um, <clears throat> I'd like to get to know you. Is that why you had the guts to pull my sleeve? You disgust me. No, don't pinch me, Vera. Don't pinch me. 
I don't want any son of a bitch pressing my life again. All right? They're all little lying cheese with itchy weapons between their legs. Excuse me, I take an exception to that. Exception my foot. You think I'm some kind of girl of yours? Well, I am not your kind of girl. I am not one of your prostitutes. All right? Go and look for someone else to fulfill your stupid desires. Serena. No, Vera, do not patronize me. All right? I will not let any man smell the good side of me again. I won't. Excuse me? Who the hell do you think you are? You think you're pretty? I don't think so. You should even be happy that I am talking to you. You understand? Because you, standing there like this, you even get the chance to work for me as a house help, let alone somebody who polishes my shoes. Wait! Let me finish! Wait! Wait! Let me finish! Let me, let me, wait, excuse me, don't say me. Excuse me, let me finish. You! You think everybody is dark-headed like you upstairs? I don't think so. Well, let me tell you something. Nobody walks around like you like a slut. You are just a mobile prostitute walking around soliciting for fun. I am not going to succumb to your stupid comments. Do you understand what I'm saying? You are just a prostitute walking around like a princess. Prostitute like your type with your fake hair. Excuse me. Who the hell do you think you are? What? What if you like touch me? Seth, please. No, do much. Who, who are you calling Seth? This pig? Serena. This useless boy? Serena. No, Ray, let me teach this guy a lesson. Wait, oh, excuse me. What are, are you going to touch me? Yes. Seth, I, I, I touch you. Do what you want to do. Me. I just touch you. Do what you want to do. Me. Yes, and I'll oh. touch you again, you idiot. Who do you I, think you are? Oh, that's what prostitutes do, so I, I'm not surprised. You can't beat me up if you're a man. I, I'm not surprised. How much do you want me to give you? Two CDs Five or what? CDs, Five CDs. Five CDs. Just annoying me. You're a man prostitute, idiot. I pay for a seven. Oh, you've increased your price. Hey, hallelujah. Say, oh, I'll show you that I'm a prostitute. Serena. What? It can't, can't get your two sisters. Vera, stop it. Idiot. Useless human being. Prostitute. Hey. Why are you running away? I have two sisters. Why are you running away? Do you have change for me? Why I'll pay you away? right now. You don't and I'll get lost. Karen, are you running away? Useless boy. Oh, my God. What was that? What was come up like you? Of you think I should stand there for that thing to insult me? I don't think so. If you can tolerate women, means you haven't learned anything. Your head's kept for Gabriella, most of it can't fight to other women. You need to watch your emotions. If I were you, I would go there and apologize. Come on. Go say you're sorry. Excuse me. Um, Don't you even dare try and speak to me again, you understand? Look, I'm sorry. Listen, I just wanted to apologize for what happened back there, alright? I'm a man and I know I shouldn't have acted like that and I deserve to be reprimanded by you. You know what, take your dirty self out of my sight. Um. I'm sure she has accepted, okay? Never mind. Thank you so much for understanding. And, and you must be? Vera. I'm a lawyer. Oh, that's good. I, I hope that someday when I make enough money, I'll be able to engage your services. Can I have your card or something? Okay. Um, yeah. Uh, okay. Thank you. So what do you do for a living? Oh, um, I'm, I'm jobless. No wonder you're so frustrated. Enter the car, let's go. I'm sorry, yeah? Be sorry for yourself, idiot. I'm going to apologize. When you're ranting your mouth out there, you didn't know. When you're ranting your mouth, you didn't, you didn't have this. And what was that to lie about? Lie? What did I lie about? First you were Gerald, and now you're an applicant. No, let me tell you something there. Eh? That's not what it is, okay? What has all the long list in my CV and all my wealth got to me too? Huh? Now when a woman loves you for you, she truly loves you, even if you're jobless. And that's how it's going to be for a long time, until I find true love. That's why this one dumped you because of your property. She didn't. I think from the way she was talking, she has like fresh wounds that, you know, it's itching out, but hey, Let's I'll work go. on it. <laughs>
Has it gone so bad that you should transfer the sin of one man to the other? What has come over you? It's true Caesar dealt with you, right? But that doesn't mean every man is like Caesar. Gerard was simply asking for your friendship and there was nothing more to that. What was his crime? Probably he's a man. Gerard is a nobody. Serena, you surprised me a lot. I thought a while ago you said money means nothing to you and you wanted to live life without money. Well, this is the moment of truth and you've just failed your first test. That guy could have been your kind of guy even without money. He should at least be working. You finish messing him up after you realize he's an applicant. Does it matter? As far as he's an ambitious and visionary? But he has neither. He is. He got the guts to stand you word for word. He even made you cry. He's got the pride, and that's the pride that will drive every guy to success. He's fearless, and such guys are bounded to make it in life. He holds you in high esteem. He works so hard to take care of you. If only you were putting up that vindictive anger of yours the very moment he approached you, you'd have seen it in his eyes. Wait a minute. You know, you talk so well of this guy. Are you working for him? Don't be silly. I'm not working for him. He's your kind of guy, except for money. I know Chula from afar when I see one. Then why don't you go after the dude, Bumbo Clark? Please. You're very stupid. You know what? That guy loves you and nothing can compromise to that. <sighs> Serena, that guy doesn't look like a guy who easily gives up. Watch out. Don't be surprised when he comes back looking for you. That should not be your concern. Please get me something to eat. I'm tired. Hi, is that a yes or no? You think this is your father's house? Please. Come on, I was just joking. I don't need you to joke. You better stop those silly kids because you're not helping us in this house. Whatever. Grandma. She's so afraid of men. She doesn't seem to be afraid of reality. Well, they seem like they're just friends. I have to get to know her better. I have to get to know her better. Getting it right. Barry was right. <sighs> Come on, Serena. He even came back to apologize. <sighs> I should have accepted his apology. <sighs> I have to apologize to him. If I happen to stumble into him again. Oh, Serena, 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 Serena. Attitude, 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 change. I need a written permission from you to pay the workers this month. They don't have to wait until you resume work. Don't worry about that. I'm going to be in the office this afternoon to sort it out. How about Chief? Uh, he's gone to the village. He'll be back before dusk. Good morning. Good morning. And why are you prepared to go this morning? After work. A diamonds? Hell no. But um, I was wondering if um, you can hook a sister up. I don't know if I have to bring my CV or whatever. Can I work as your secretary? <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Oh, girlfriend, you don't mean it. I am serious, dead serious. Okay, then that's, that's just the best part then. We're late. Alright, boss. Um, excuse me. Hi, Vera. Yes, this is Gerald. Uh, yes, you met me and the friend at um, the supermarket. Uh huh. What am I supposed to do for you? Well, Vera, I was, I was hoping if I could meet your friend and um, to let her know that I'm not as bad as she thinks. Instead of you getting a job, you're thinking of chasing after everything you find and scared. Listen, my, my joblessness should not stop me from expressing my inner feelings. And for the records, I do not chase anything in scared. All right. So, um, are you going to help me? I hope you're honest about this. Okay, um, you know what? I'm already late for work, so why don't you come to my office in an hour's time? Thank you. Thank you so much. <clears throat> who was that? Well, a stubborn client who prefers going after a young lad to pursue in his case. <laughs> That's the really nice You're looking good, anyway. Right? Mm -hmm. What's the meaning of this? Well, I'm trying to look like a job seeker. Listen, I need you to take the car back to the office. I'll come back for it when I'm coming to sign the salary vouchers in the afternoon, all right? You're not serious, right? At least be happy for me. Stop standing there looking like a goat. Love, love, I'll see you. I'm, I'm going to take a bike. Good luck. When I find such a love, I will keep it, cherish it, I will let it go. I will let it go. I need the love, love, genuine love. love. When I find such a love, you know I used to have this mascara and I can't find it. Is it with you? No. Hey, where are you? Okay, okay, come in. Hey, Gerald. How are you? I'm okay, how are you? Have a seat. Um, Serena, you're out here wants to make amends. You know I'm not a sadist, so I have to oblige you. Please sit down, please. Well, first and foremost, I'd like to apologize for what happened yesterday. I mean, ever since then, I have been able to sleep. A sleeping pill could have helped. Well, talking to you one on one is better than taking a sleeping pill. I know I should be more preoccupied with finding a job or something like that, but um, I just have to take advantage of this opportunity. What opportunity? You. I know this might sound preposterous, but um, I just can't get you off my mind. And how are you going to cope with a relationship without money? Love is what matters. Money comes when it comes. I have a couple of um, test results, a couple of interviews, and I'm just hoping one clicks. But what I have to do first is to make sure you're in my custody. I am a woman. And I'm also just a PA to Vera, who happens to be my senior schoolmate and squatter. I need someone who can take care of my little problems. What you don't know about me is I'm a problem solver. There's very little I can do right now. See, there's a saying that it's not the amount of help that matters, but it's the motive behind that little effort. What's your name? J J Julia Brown. Oh, Julia, okay. Um, um, can we um, do lunch?
Okay, just for a few minutes. Thank you. Can I call you Julie? Yes, sir. <laughs> so, um, why do you hate men? I hate men Vera, right? No, no, no. She said to other supermarket. You know what, Gerard, um, can we talk about something else? Um, okay, tell me, what did you study in school? Oh, um, accounting. Accounting? Mm. So why is it so hard for you to get a job? <laughs> well, that's because I'm a very ambitious person. I just don't want any job. You see. What about you? Well, I studied um, sociology and um, I'm working at Vera's place as a peer until I get a better job. Oh, interesting, interesting. Um, I, I speak from the innermost part of my heart. I really love you. I just want you to accept me as a friend, an, an intimate friend. You know I can't trust you. You men are so mischievous. Once you get what you want, you vanish. No, no, I'm not gonna ask you for anything, okay? At least just, just, just love me. I mean, until you ask for it, I'll wait. And you think you can wait for that long? Try me, because I really love you. Give me a trial then. So, um, wh why are you putting up? Um, I'm staying at Vera's place until I get a, a new house and a, a better job. Oh. I'm so much on my approval. I can disappoint. Don't disappoint me. Jigal is some jobless guy. Dresses like a street guy. Just to get a cheap girl to bed. I think um, he needs some psychiatric examination. I'm telling you. Guys! I got here at last. What happened? You sound as if you got the princess of England. As a matter of fact, I got an African princess. See, let me tell you something. People hardly know that behind that mean face lies a very gentle and romantic Juliana. You need to see a psychiatric and old. What's so special about that poor girl? True love. Such that money can buy. For the first time in my life, I just felt like Romeo. It's not too good. If it does, you better commit suicide. <laughs> me. Bomb on! Make me mad! Woo! What kind of stunts are you trying to pull with my emotions? I didn't pull anything, okay? He begged to meet you, so I obliged him. Without my consent? Serena, you have the right to reject his request face to face. Oh, are you such a coward? It's not about being a coward. It's about you trying to run my life for me. Serena, I don't like this. I just don't like these accusations of yours. When you told me that you wanted to learn and know how life could be without money, I gave it a long thought and I decided to help you in my own small way. I didn't know me helping you were taken wrongly. Please, I'm sorry. Calm down, okay? You're taking this thing too seriously. Well... I decided to give him a trial, and your assessment about him was right. I see the fire he has. You know, um, even though he's jobless, he's, he's got fishing. Congratulations. 
But before you ever back at me again, remember that you are my peer and my advice. I'm sorry, boss. So what are we eating for lunch today? Um, anything. Okay. Find someone that could love me the way I should be loved. I wish I could see someone who could give me the love I deserve. And when I find such a word, I will let go, will cherish and love her back. But that is all I need to keep me going and moving on. I've given so much love and I want love in return. And when I see such a love, I wouldn't let her go. I need the love, love. love. I need the love. love. When I find such a love, I will keep it, cherish it. I will let it go. I will let it go. I need the love, love. Genuine love. love. When I find such a love, I will keep it, cherish it. I will let it go. I will let it go. All I ever want is love. All I ever need is love. All I really want. Love. I will let it go. I will let it go. All I ever want is love. All I ever need is love. All I really want is love. I will let it go. I will let it go. Here I am on a Friday night waiting to surprise my woman. She's nowhere to be found. Look at the time. Look at the time. Now, this attitude of him coming home late has persisted for three days now. I will never keep a late night. Let my fear not come true. What fear? That he might be seeing someone. I mean a woman. No. Arnold never kept a relationship without my knowing it. But William, it seems that's what he's doing now. No. Just look at the time. Put your, put your feet down. Juliana can be this wicked to go and sleep in another man's house. I will wait for you. Serena's relationship is barely one week old, then you're pouring unfounded accusation and policing her life. Farrah, Farrah, please. So why didn't you let me know you were coming? Why do you put it for phone? Hey, this guy's another thing, though. Vera. Just 
sweetheart, do you expect my phone to be on when I'm in church? See, I, I just wanted to surprise you, alright? So that's it, I just had a surprise on you. You messed it up. But I have oh, to. Darling, it's not late. I'm here. Well, actually, I, I wanted to take you out um, Friday night, and you know, because it was something I had to do. Mm -hmm. but, uh, but I guess I gotta do it anyway. Find someone that could love me the way I should be loved. I wish I could see someone who could give me the love I deserve. And when I find such a word, I will let God will cherish and love her back. But that is all I need to keep me going and moving on. I've given so much love and I want love in return. But when I see such a love, I wouldn't let her go. I need the love, love. I need the love, love. When I find such a love, I will keep it, cherish it. I will let it go. I will let it go. I need the love. <laughs> How would you feel if you lose your job? Devastated, of course, sir. Good. Then I will get you devastated if you try hiding anything from me. Worse, if you lie. Who is an old seer? I don't... I warn you one more time. Now, you don't lie to me, okay? Who is he seeing secretly? I don't know. Good, Derek. Now you go back in there and put your office in order. We are through with you. He's seen one girl, sir. He's seen one girl. Who is the girl? Some school leaver called Julie. Um, she's a personal assistant to a lady lawyer. Where is the chambers of that lady lawyer? I know they didn't tell me that. Where is she staying? I don't know either. Good. I want you to get that information from him and report back to me before dusk. Or you consider your appointment uh, terminated. Julia, you know you're the beautiful sun ray that brightens my horizon every morning. Yes, nothing is going to stop me from seeing you. Yes, I'm going to storm the chambers at lunchtime. Uh, is your boss in the seat? Yeah. Well, as a PA, you know you're supposed to be falling here to all the serious meetings. You know that, right? Uh, well, okay, fine. Uh, then I'll see you soon, okay? All right. Love you. For the first time in my life, I'm enjoying pure and adulterated relationship. I have to keep my father in the dark about this. 
I already know. Julie, that's a name, isn't it? A common personal assistant to a wretched lady lawyer. Who told you, Derek? I overheard your phone conversation. Oh, Father, you sneak on me? You shut up. You're so naive. I'm not here to trade words with you. I allowed you to make a choice of a life partner with specific instructions that she must belong to a certain class. You took a leave and went gallivanting in town with a girl that has neither history nor future. What a shame. Father, I'm not in the mood. And I'm neither in the mood for any more of your nonsense. That relationship must cease forthwith. That. I want you to come home early today and meet someone. Father, I have something to say, right? I will listen to you when you come home. She's going out to one jobless school leaver, sir. You saw my daughter with a stinking jobless fool? No, sir. I didn't see them. I bought Vera's house and Serena's phone, sir. I see. That is the reason why she has not come to this house after her vacation ended. It seems Vera is encouraging her, sir, from the discussion I got on this tape. I see. I, I, I shouldn't have lose sight of her for a second? A jobless school leaver? What stupid mistake is this? You can go. Thank you. So what are we doing this afternoon? I don't know anything. You don't look good at all. What's the problem? Hey, Chief. You have disappointed me, Vera. Oh, Chief. I left my daughter in your care thinking that she's going to be safe and sound. But rather you could die and actually push her into a shameful relationship by giving her a jobless and hopeless school leaver. Dad, I am tired of you just trying to- Oh, you can only be tired of being my daughter and I will not regret it. If by this relationship, I am forced to disown you. But listen to me, don't use Caesar's case as an excuse. You have gone too low and you are drawing the battle line. If you don't stop seeing that boy, pack your bag, we are living here together. I am not going anywhere. If you don't live with me, it is going to be Sir, over. Sir, please. I'm sorry for everything. I take responsibility. Serena, follow your father. Don't get involved with this. I insist I am not going anywhere, even if it will cost me my life. I guess that's the worst that can happen to me. I can choose any man, irrespective of what he is. Ah! You slapped me. I will slap you again. You can slap me to death. It will not stop me. I will continue and continue to love him more and more. It will only spare me all. Shut up, Serena. Sit down. Sir, please, I'm sorry. 
I'm very sorry for everything. I promise to bring it back. Please let this call off first, please. I am leaving. If I don't see you by tomorrow, consider yourself disowned. I want you to meet someone. It's taken me quite a hell of a time to find her. I wish I could find someone that could love me the way I ah. should be loved. I wish there I could see comes. someone who could give me the love I deserve. And when I find such a word, I will let go, I will cherish and love her back. Cause that is all I need to keep me going and moving on. I've given so much love and I want love in return. When I see such a love, I wouldn't let it go. I need a love, love, love. love. I need a love, love. When I find such a love, I will keep it. Hi. I'm Tacey, Tacey Phillips Megida, the MD of Tida Textiles. Tida Textiles actually belongs to engineer Phillips Megida, my father, and a former director of Central Bank. Nice pedigree. Interesting. But I'm not interested. I'm sorry, the sooner I leave this house, the better. Anna, come back here! When I find such a love, I will keep it, tell me she's out, we'll let it go. I will let it go. I need the love, the love, genuine love. When I find such a love, I will keep it, tell me she's out, we'll let it go. I will let it go. All I ever want is. Serena, please do it for my sake, okay? I know you have the right to abandon your father and his wealth. But what about me? You know Diamond is my mainstay and if your father should strip me off my business or the services, what am I going to do? Sit at home and watch TV and eat what? Please, okay? Just go home and try and sort things out with him. I'm begging you. Fine. I will do it for your sake. Thank you. But not even heaven, no hell will stop me. It's Gerald or nothing. Fine. I mean, such things can be sorted out later on. Hello? Yeah. I need to see you. I called you here because I'm relocating. I've gotten another job somewhere else, on Circular Island. Two hour drive from here. Baby, but that's far. Yes, um, the pay was good and everything. I'll send you my address as soon as I get there. Uh, make sure you do that, okay? But whatever will be the case, I'll still call you. All right? You're out. Thanks for understanding. Thank you. You're 
But um, I'm going to also try and get you a job there as well. Really? Yeah. You serious? I'm speaking to them, so let's see what happens. Man, I can't believe this. Forcing a stranger on me all because of money. I mean, I'd rather die than lose Julia. Is she in the house already? Ouch. Hi. Should I serve dinner for you and your friends? If I want dinner, I know who to go to. <laughs> oh, I know. I don't like the way you treat me. I'm supposed to be your fiancé for Christ's sake. Is that what my father told you? And foolishly enough, you believed it. You are like a meal with the wrong address. Somebody must be going crazy here. Get your sorry ass out of here before I just smack you. You were a bloody fool. You should be happy that the daughter of Engineer Phillips is your fiancé. Look at that. I mean, the impudence. My father is finding me in my trouble. Hey, I know. Cool down, buddy. We will sort this out. It is not our fault. In the 21st century? I mean, that's bullshit. <laughs> Take it easy. If you respect your old boy, you'll leave her and deal with him. Ah! The impudence! I'm, I'm gonna get dressed so that we go out. I mean, I just can't We're waiting. Anyway, to a happy marriage. about to um, contain no solution to your problem, you know. What do you call that sort of special arrangement in the 21st century? It is called an exclusive import. This is very funny. Funny, you say? Not the baggage with Chief, Chief Williams' diplomatic badge and immunity. I mean, who the hell would want a man's legacy? But, I'm very happy I emptied my heart's contents right in front of him. Then, we package her back in one piece. Delay might be dangerous. <laughs> no, this might be a serious war. Well, we may need some combatants. We're ready and handy, not me. <laughs> Mama, I'm not blaming you, or Chief. You tried your possible best to make Arnold understand, but his mind is far away. I mean, I can't show myself on any guy. I'm not a poor girl from any poor family. I can hold my own any time, any day. I'm sorry, I have to go. Goodbye. Listen, I can work things out I for you. I have to go now. Tessie, My regards to him. I can work things out for you. Tessie, please. Long time. Oh, yes, I'm always here every Saturday, but you traveled. No, uh, remember I told you I'm not a regular sportsman. Mm. I've been a little bit busy. Yeah, but how was your daughter's wedding? Oh, it crashed. That boy was one big bag of trash. Oh, my God. Sorry to hear about that. I believe she will find another man. Ah, it depends on the man. She is not going out with... Uh, jobless thing now. A jobless boy? Yeah. <laughs> what, what did 
she find attractive in him? Oh my God. What has come over this generation? Our parents made choices for us. At the moment, I'm clashing with my son over his choice of a common secretary to some wretched lawyer. You too? I thought I was alone in this purgatory. You can say that again. Look, my brother, let's go have a round on the call. Remind me to give you my home address. You need to visit me one of these days. The pleasure will be mine. Okay, I'm going to beat you. <laughs> Are you coming? Why not? I was given my salary in advance for easy relocation and I just wanted you to have it. So feel free and choose whatever you want. Right, sir. This must be that useless girl. Baby, don't get so worked up. I shouldn't get worked up. If only you knew what I've been through in the hands of a Chalentan. All right, fine. He's my neighbor. He asked me to write his son's GCSE exams, and when the results came out of the council, he said I should refund his money. That still doesn't explain the name Arnold. Baby, come on. 
You don't expect me to use my real name when I'm doing dubious jobs, do you? Mm. Fine. I want to see you tomorrow and um, I want to know where your house is. Alright, you know what? Um, I'll text you the address, alright? Because I don't know, I just moved into my cousin's house, so I don't know the real address and number and the house number and everything. So I'll text you the address and then tomorrow you can come and see me. Do you? Let's go. I called my own son. He spurned me and went along with that dirty girl. We'll know who owns this house today. He sent Tessie away for the sake of that slut. William, you're not in a good mood. Take it easy. I'm wondering why you're still fighting over this matter. Let him be. I tried stopping him, but he's still stuck to his guns. Allow him to satisfy his ego. You're disgusting, Dora. And what's that meaning of that show of shame, Mr. Arnold Williams? I had to do what I had to do, Father. Abandoning me on the road for the sake of that useless type of girl is most unruly of you. You slap me, father? I'll do worse things if you don't put a stop to that joke. It's becoming too expensive for my liking. Do you hear me? I would rather leave this house than leave Juliana. You think your money can buy love? No! You dare talk to me like that? I have found my love and you're not going to ruin it. Enough, William. I don't like this. I just don't like this. I know this not a kid. He's not a baby. He can make his own choice. I was nothing when you married me. Why set a new standard for him? You asked him to make his own choice. Then all of a sudden, you tell me this is your class, class, class thing. Why? What has come over you? Now, Arnold, let's go! So he's a gang up, isn't it? Let's go! No wonder Arnold has grown such wings. You're entitled to your opinion. Let's go, Arnold. I'm entitled to my own opinion. Jonah! 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 Uh, okay. How long is it taking for you to fix this car? Ah, why? Have you lost your expect touch? I'm finished already. Huh? I will talk like this. Now today, me and you start. My father done the work your father motor since when me and you did small. I inherited this workshop from my father. I'm an engineer, not just an ordinary mechanic. Yes, sir. Sorry, sir. Anyway, um, 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 sure you have like a small room that you live in. You mean house? Yes. I know you live for room again now. Jenna, Jenna. I live for flat now. God don't bless me now. Well, you see, there's this girl that I like, right? And I'm going to bring her over to your house. So we're going to act like cousins, okay? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> it's okay. We are cousins, right? Aren't we? Okay. Cousins we are. No problem. Did you change the oil? I've done everything. Everything? Yes. Cool. That's right. Thanks. Anyhow now, make I see something. Oh, no, no, tomorrow. Hmm? Tomorrow. Oh, God. It's all right. I'll see you tomorrow. Mame! Mame! Hey, hey, man. Come on, take this in and put it in the workshop. Princess, you're not allowed to do this. But I'm doing it. Come here. From now on, you will not do anything that concerns myself. And that includes the washing of my clothes. Understood? The daughter of Adams will not do such thing. The daughter of Adams is a human being like everyone that comes in and out of this house, Father. What has come over you, Princess? Are you begging for poverty? Oh, please, this does not make one poor. It rather enriches me. And the days of overpampering are over. And that includes the choosing of my life partner. Excuse me. 
Help me turn it off. Princess. 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 They won't kill me here. Please, please. Sit down. Okay. Uh, How you doing? Ah, very good. Sit down. Welcome. You know, I'm still amused by your dressing. Is this the idea of a decent attire? No, <laughs> oh, you ain't seen nothing yet. I mean, when you go to my cousin's room, you're going to find portraits and stuff about me all around. You're joking. No, it's worth it. You know, I just want to find out why women love money so much. I'll wait and see where this game ends. You do send people on a wild goat chase, you know. She's coming. Go, 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 go. She's full of money. Go, go. She's coming. Go. I now see why my cousin cannot say one word without mentioning your name hundred times. In fact, your name has turned to be national anthem and a prayer point in his life. Please do take care of him. Wow. Thank you for the information. Uh, are you okay? Yeah. Okay, yes. Welcome. You look worried. What's up? I mean, you don't expect a man to be content when his survival depends on a woman. Girl, jump out of that line of thought. We all need each other. If we can't affect each other's lives positively, then the essence of living is defeated. All right. You can pay me the money back when you get a job. Really? Why don't we just go inside? Yeah. Right. Did you cook something? I'm hungry. Mm -hmm. This is your friend. This girl has completely eaten his brain. Trust. This big fit die for. <laughs> no. I'm happy for him anyway. It's one stupid thing. That's true. Anyway, let's wait. Hmm. Let me get back to my work. Okay. Let me see what you Yeah. You know what? I really don't care about him. You need to care. Williams' money is too much to be ignored. Well, all you think about is money. Why don't you do Is that not Serena? Yeah. That's her. I told you women are the same. Where do you think she gets all the money she splashes on you? Take it easy. Take it easy. Are you going crazy? I know.
Don't go out to some of the lady or how. Something strange, so man. Where are you going to? Are you going crazy or what, Sano? My guy! Williams, I am not a happy man. The misfortune of the aborted wedding, that don't withstand it. I can't lose control of my only daughter, my one and only child for that matter. She has turned down all the recommended suitors. And she is going out with a wretched, jobless boy with no future. My only son has become a painful toothache and an ugly nightmare. He's so stuck with this junk of a girl, he won't hear anything else. Mm. But believe me, I am not going to allow any miserable gold digger lay her filthy hands on my heart and legacy just because my son is addicted to some cheap girl. No. Why are we beating around the bush? The solution beckon on us. Can't we match your son with my daughter? <laughs> it's, it's, it's just funny how simple ideas could be scarce, you know. Okay, that's okay. Yeah. So let's work on that Williams. immediately. <laughs> <laughs> William, this is good. This yeah, is good, yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. This is good. I do not understand why you've been a diamond for so long. Why must he be a rich guy? Why? Father, I will not make money or material things rule over my happiness again. I won't. I have learned my lesson big time. Life is not what you told me it is. It revolves around people and not around money. I just want you to give me the last chance. Get to know this guy properly. And what is wrong with Gerald, father? What? That's a jobless school liver. You know it is not going to work. You know it's not going to work. And I said I will make it work. It is my life and I will live my life. Okay? 
And if you try to do anything naughty, I swear I'll do something nasty. You slap me for a second time? I will slap you if you become nasty. For this is not going to shake me. The message is clear. It's Gerald. Nothing is going to happen between you and that idiot. Jack must know about this. That idiot must be wiped out totally. If Jules gets a scratch or a bruise, you will cease to have a daughter. I am not a coward and you know that. I'd rather die than lose the jobless school leaver. Try me. You got me running mental by that choice of Gabriella. Who sleeps around? Then you brought in another garbage called Tessie. And it took a physical fight to actually take her out of this house. Now you're bringing in another one of your friend's daughter's father. Why? When are you going to realize that this is my life and I have the exclusive choice to make? That's because I have a stake in your life, son. Only on advisory capacity, father. Why should I abandon a girl who loves me? Love built on trust, not on money, father. Why? Or is it because she's not a daughter of Bill Gates? Now listen, Father, have you ever wondered why this girl is just so in love with me and why I'm so stuck onto this girl? Baby, listen. We don't need any sermon. Your daddy here just wanted you to meet this other girl. If you don't want it, you can still back out. Oh, Mother, you got it all wrong. I'm in love with Juliana. Why should I meet another girl? Now you're getting me angry, I know. You're the one getting me angry, Father. I know the worst that can happen and I'm prepared for it. Is it about money? Well, guess what, Father? I'm in love with Juliana. Juliana is my wife. This only me will only strengthen the resolve. Have I made myself clear? Guys, there's something I want to do. I want to formally inform my father about Juliana. And I want both of you to accompany me. That's a more mature approach, man. We'll be there for you. Hmm? Really? Yeah. Great. All right, so we'll meet Clara at the supermarket by phone. Right? I want to tackle this once and for all. Gerald means the world to me. Anything that matters to me right now. I also want to give my father the benefit of the doubt. How? I want to talk to him for the very last time. Voice of wisdom. Try and convince him. You have a way with him. And he trusts you so much. I don't know what to say. This is so sensible. You've really changed. I'm 
Serena. I'm so proud of you. That's wonderful. Oh. That's good. Yeah. Very good. Williams, why are children of this day so stubborn? Uh, that is what I don't seem to understand. Our fathers chose wives for us. No, I beg to disagree here. I suggest we give our children a chance. So. Look, Dora, if you don't have anything sensible to say, get inside the room. Mm -mm. Chief Williams, this is my first time visiting your home. Don't mind. Go serve the food. Tell him, please go and serve the food, Williams. Didn't you hear me? I said, go serve the food. I'll be with you in a jiffy. Okay, thank you very much. Yes, yes, okay. I'm all Ah. Listen, I'm highly impressed and convinced that uh, this thing has worked. So the game is over. Alright, so I'm expecting you guys this evening, okay? Okay, cool. Alright, bye. Hey, don't you? Good morning. How far? I think I'm not there now. I'm alright. Alright. <laughs> yes, um, I have some stuff to do in town. But um, I also have an appointment with my father. So, um, I'll see you. Okay, I, I beg just waste more. I want to go to the supermarket. Go piece on. So you go drop me for a road, yeah? Alright, let me go. Um, Kwame! What is Bogo? Kwame! Kwame! Yes, sir, boss. Come, 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 come. Okay, my sir. I want to go to the paper market, go buy some stuff. Okay, my sir. Anybody will come, tell them make wait for me. I don't go waste up to 30 minutes. Yes, my sir, okay. Make you sit down and wait for me. Okay, I hear. Take care of the workshop. Okay, okay I hear. Yeah. Serena, am I not supposed to see the guy I will be defending before your father? Please. <laughs> Alright, fine. I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. Let's okay. Go. You are welcome. Sweetie, Gerald is the definition of true love. Just wait until he finds out that I am Serena Adams. Ha! Huh. I will spoil him and spoil him with so much love. <laughs> <laughs> 
Let me help you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I think this kind of thing. What do you think? Sure. Yeah. This is not bad. Yes, yes. Okay, we'll be expecting you. All right. Who was that? Well, Adams, uh, that was my son who just called. Uh, he's on his way, and uh, I guess this is a fine opportunity for you to meet him. No, 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 no. What you need to do is to recall him and give him direction to my house. I'm hosting you today. Men can be stubborn. Now, why is that? You're already here, so what's the point? I've always been visiting you. I want to host you tonight. Let's go. Hello. Is your boss yeah, around? Hey, madam. You're welcome. Is your boss there? My boss. Eh, uh, them come out. They? Who are they? Eh, uh, my master then, that man wait why they come doing car for here. Gerald? Eh, uh, eh, uh, no, master Arnold. Master Arnold. The one way here you drive, they can't look for him. I come looking for Gerald. Are you talking about Gerald? My friend Gerald. Me? I don't know the Gerald though. If he must have not where I know. If he's so my master, they call him. You mean the tall man I always come looking for? I'm I'm talking about Gerald, the tall guy I always come looking for. Eh, but it'll be it'll be Gerald. If he must have not where me, I know. But I asked him and he denied being called Arnold. And the same name is revisiting itself again. Arnold or Gerald, which one do I believe? Vera, I do not want to get involved with another cheat again. Serena, calm down. Listen, um, how long ago did they leave? Uh, them go there, them go there. Even time, time self go. Time self go. Them go there, wow. Yeah, but must I say, <laughs> you come uh, if, I, if I wait down. Who is your master? Um, are you talking about your master? Or my Gerald? Eh, uh, you must have not. Must have not. The one way why they come doing car for here. So Gerald has cars? Eh, uh, if they come do, if they bring big, big cars for me, I don't know any Gerald. He owns it himself. Eh, must have not. Me, I don't know any Gerald. Okay, 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 don't worry. You know what, my sister, let's go before you fall into the arms of another crook again, okay? Whether it's Gerald or it's Arnold, what we know is you're looking for who? Gerald. Okay, whether it's Gerald or Arnold, tell them we were here, okay? Okay, madam. Bye, have a nice day. <laughs> but there are nothing they give me. Shy. Fair, what is happening here? I cannot take another betrayal. Serena, calm down. You can't take the words of a boy seriously. Yeah. I mean, don't worry. Let's see what happens, okay? You'll be fine. Trust me. My hook or crew? Are we in the neocolonialism era or what? Listen to me. I have your speciality there. You, you, I know you don't have crocodile meat. I have crocodile and chimpanzee meat. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, what do you want? You take the chimpanzee. I'll give you crocodile. Hold it, hold okay. it. Uh, yeah, Arnold. Ah, sorry, incidentally, uh, I'm living with my friend uh, to his house. Yeah, so let me send you a text message uh, directing you to the place, all right? Yes. Uh, please be there by 7 p.m., okay? Make it a point to be there, all right? Okay. Williams, listen to me. I'll make sure my daughter is at home before we arrive there by applying the unconventional methods. <laughs> I thought it's only women that gossip. Uh, you haven't stopped that thing. You are still at your thing again. You will eat crocodile meat. Be today. careful. <laughs> <laughs> are, come on, let me. Jesus, this can't be true. Huh? What's the matter? That's Gerald! Oh. You know what? 
I think he's supposed to be a school leaver, but what I'm seeing now is a trendy rich guy. Oh my god. Oh gosh. Somebody's about to take my fiance away from me. Somebody's about to snatch my fiance away from me. You know, these old rich women whose husbands don't stay at home are also good for young men to service them at night. I think Joe is a victim. Oh, Serena, calm down. Just calm yourself, John. Catch the bed in its nets. You know what? If you should confront him now, he'll wriggle his way out of the nest. What are you going to do? What do you think you're going to do? You know, all these men are just lying, you son of a bitch. All of them are just stupid idiots. Serena. They are all phony. Serena, calm down before you do something silly to yourself. I will kill him and I will kill myself. Not until you find him guilty. All right, let's see. Lying to Serena? Oh, he will see the real Serena. Oh, please. Don't you like him this way? You can never trust any man. No man. Oh, men are all just lying, cheats, and Casanovas. Serena, not until you find him guilty. Hush. Fine, let's follow him. Listen, what you want is not relevant right now. Who are you? Don't misjudge, okay? Listen, I really don't care about your stupid defenses right now. Haven't I proven to you that I love you? Well, it's not, uh, you know. Could you please tell me who's been spending all her money on Gerald, or should I say Arnold? Don't tell me you are one professional jiggle, a shameless, jobless man. You know what, that's the meanest thing to say. Let me explain. Explain what? Explain how I've been busy out there trying to get you a job. Or how I've been getting black eyes for your sake, for my dad. And all you can do is go out there and service an old rich woman. Who is your sugar money, if I may ask? You know, you're such a bitch. What you're saying is just total rubbish, okay? You're just acting like a bitch. Ow! Serena! Hey! What are you doing here? This is the height of a very stupid carriage. I have warned you to stay off my interest. I have no room for stupid, hopeless, jobless, wretched, and Casanova liar like you. Items, items, items. What's your language? You're talking to my son Arnold and not son Gerald. And I suppose you are the Juliana in question. I've heard of a mad gold ticket desperately after my son. But what I don't expect is that she would have the guts to follow my son down here. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I hold exception to that, Chief Williams. You are talking to Serena Adams, not Juliana, for crying out loud. You don't mean it. Oh, yes. What's happening here? Listen, what he said about you, is it true? Oh yes, it's true. My name is Arnold Williams. I'm the MD of Wynn Oil Ghana Limited. That's my father. What are you doing here? Well, fine. This is my house. And he's not my boss, he's my father. And yes, my name is Serena Adams. I am the MD of Diamond Communications. So you lied. 
Well, you like to. Why? Maybe for the same reason you lied. So you pirated my plan. And you stole my game. So you have been acting all this while? And you have been pirating my game plan. <laughs> and you don't live at any mechanics house? <laughs> I believe we are all wrong. The best thing for us to do is to leave the young ones to have their choices. Yeah, um, I'm beginning to see reason with my son, you know. Uh, I guess uh, the young ones uh, should be allowed to pick their life partners. Uh. Love is far more superior to everything. No one can ever beat God. His ways are not our ways. I wish I could find someone that could love me the way I should be loved. I wish I could see someone who could give me the love I deserve. And when I find such a word, I will let God cherish and love her back.